guys, look what I bought at Walmart for $25. <laughs> it's Hi, welcome back to my channel. So it's actually June 14th, 15th, 16th. I lost track of time since March. I've actually been accumulating all these items since probably April, but since I did purchase all of these online, it's taken a while to accumulate this amount of stuff. But basically what I did was cookie. With the pandemic going on, no one could go thrifting. And if you're like myself, I need my weekly dose of thrift. Even if I don't buy anything, I had to go to the store. So I decided to thrift online and today I'm gonna bring you guys a amazing haul. Let's go ahead and get started. Online prices are so much more expensive than going to the thrift store because I understand people source these. They take the time out of their day to look for cute stuff so that you don't have to do that like you would in a thrift store. Still, I think they're super overpriced and most of these items, I don't remember the prices, but I will do a ballpark of how much I think I paid for them. And I will be trying everything on, so pray for me because it's a lot of clothes. First place that I ordered from is actually called Plato's Closet in Corona. They have a store and I go to the store because it's like, what, 30 minutes away from me? But since their store has been closed, they recently launched an online website. So I took the time out of my day to order some stuff. So let's get started with them first. So first up is this amazing hat. You guys saw this in my last video where I did my Coraline doll review. This is just a cute little hat. It came with extra sequins because one already fell off like right here, but I don't really care. Um, it was like what, $14, but it did have brand new with tags, but still very overpriced considering I could get this probably at a thrift store for like five bucks. But it's cute, I wear it sometimes, so yeah, I like this hat a lot. What happened? Huh? <laughs> All you hear is boom. Whoa. <laughs> it's okay. You're forgiven. Second article of clothing is this. I just washed it, so it's kind of stiff. I hang dry my clothes just to save some energy, so most of the items i bought make absolutely no sense because they're like vintage sweaters vintage coats long sleeves thick knits and it's like the middle of summer i don't know what was going on in my mind but i'm just preparing myself for winter and fall sorry those are just my favorite seasons so this right here is an 80s vintage bobble sweater and it has like these little pom-poms on it knitted super cute it has like these puffy sleeves that gather at the wrist. Love this. It was like 15 bucks. Again, very expensive. This could probably, you, f you could find it for like $6 at the thrift store, but let's pretend it was a good deal. Brand is Carducci. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like Gucci. So <laughs> yeah, this is really cute. I already wore it tons. Um, I already got my money's worth for this and this is really cute and it's pastel like blue. So yeah. Um, okay. And then I did get a tube top as well, but currently I can't find it, but it looks like this. The brand is Brandy Melville and I got it for like 10 bucks or 14. I'm not sure what I paid, but it's around that. I'm going to wear it with like a long sleeve under in the fall. So I don't wear tube tops by itself. I don't want to expose myself like that. Okay, last item from Plato's Closet is just this yellow t-shirt and it has some Asian writing on there and under it, it says good vibes only. So I'm assuming the Asian word says good vibes only. I could be wrong. This is really cute. I think it was like 10 bucks, but it's just an oversized t-shirt that's yellow and I can wear in the summer, in the spring or in the fall. It's perfect. Let's move on to Depop. So I actually, it's the first time buying stuff from Depop. I've never bought from there before because everything is so expensive, but I did find this shirt. This is like the epitome of cute Brandy Melville Cherub t-shirt. Um, I was looking for a Brandy Melville one. I did find a couple, but none of them fit my aesthetic how I wanted them to fit. This one is vintage. Not only is it vintage, but it has like little details like this. Don't look at my nails. I know they're gross. It has these flowers and lace around the collar. Super cute. And then it has the cherubs. And on the cherubs, it has pearls and it has flowers. So I saw this t-shirt, but then I went on to the seller's um, store and she had another a couple other items that I really liked such as this 
this is gonna be my Christmas ugly sweater for this year so I already have everything planned for Christmas and I also found this vintage like 80s parka they all have the vintage tags let me show you looks pretty vintage looks pretty vintage and uh, I that looks pretty vintage to me all in all I paid a total of 60 bucks for these three items I know it's super expensive but she originally had this for 25 she originally had this for like 30 and then this for like 30 or this for 20 I don't know but she they were like she really brought it down for me because I liked all these three items but yeah they were very expensive if you divide three by 60 you get 20 so it's like 20 a piece which is insanely expensive now that I think about it but oh well I bought them and I've already worn them surprisingly enough I wore this the other morning because it was so cold this I have not worn but I will wear it for Christmas for sure it has a little teddy bear she's so cute and then this I've worn so many times I already got my money's worth for sure now let's move on to our last website that is really good for thrifting but also the prices are very expensive because everything's pretty much curated and people go out of their way to buy First thing I got on there actually is this really cute cardigan right here. So precious. Um, I am in love with the grandma aesthetic, cottage girl aesthetic. This just has like lettuce edge here with these buttons and then these really cute embroidered flowers. It is also vintage. Yeah, also vintage, super cute. And it has like these little like embroidered flowers all over. I love this, this is my gem. I do think this was like 20. No, 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 it was like 18 bucks. I think this was $18 and then shipping was like $3. So again, I probably could have got this for like 10 bucks at, at the thrift store or less, but during pandemics, you got to do what you got to do to thrift. Next up is this pastel crazy insane sweater. I don't even know what I was thinking when I purchased this, but look at it. It's like insanely cute. It has like flowers and like tassels. And like it's pastel it's beautiful this fulfills all my pastel dreams so this was I believe like $13 could be wrong but I love her she's super cute I know for a fact pretty pastel please would steal this from me 100% but yeah this is super cute and then oh we have this one right here this is another knit sweater colorful I ended up not really liking this as much as I thought. I believe it was like, what, $12? It has this gray, kind of ruins the vibe, but I'm still gonna wear it, it's cute. It's whatever. And then I saved the best for last. We have, it's a cat sweater. It's beautiful, it's in amazing condition. This was well worth the money. I think it was like 20 bucks, but I would have paid 30. It's beautiful. The condition's phenomenal. I'm not sure if it's vintage, probably not, but it has cats there. And then it has a cat on the sleeve. I'm not sure if it has it on the other sleeve. Yeah, I love this. This is so cute. It makes my anxiety go down when I wear it. So this is perfect. So that was the last item from my thrift haul. If you guys enjoyed my video, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down below what you want me to do next and subscribe because i will be trying to post at least three to four videos per month i'm not sure i don't have a set schedule yet once i figure it out i'll let you guys know manny did break his leg but he's fine don't worry about him and then this is cookie but you guys will hear more about them in a separate video yeah that brings us to the end of our video i'll see you guys in my next one bye manny can you say goodbye to the camera Manny. Manny. Hello. No. Manny. Can you please love me? Aww. Uh, okay. Bye.